Sweat it to the truth, nothing but the truth. Put my hands on the Bible, y'all put me to the booth. Yo, what's going on, man? So I got a good one for you all today, bro. So in light of recent events of D1 calling out Meek Mills, Rick Ross, and Jim Jones, there has been a lot that has been said. There has been a lot that has been uncovered. There has been a lot that's been revealed. But I, we got more to say about this situ about this situation because what's one thing that's important for people to know is this ain't about certain individuals and i think that's where people is getting this all mixed up and confused that this isn't about certain individuals this is about a group of people collectively as an aggregate the uh the 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 black community and where certain individuals uh stand and where certain individuals don't stand and by individuals i mean every person within the black community and so it's some important key factors in here to know of why this is going on of why this is being done and who it's about and what it's for and so without further ado let's tap in now i came with receipts this time to the fans and the artists does it bother you to know that you're getting used or is it just like oh it feels so good i don't even care <laughs> this man literally about to tell y'all i don't care what impact is having on y'all community it's a business now it's it, they seem like they're they're making it cool to be drinking lean and syrup and it's the most dangerous it's the most dangerous Molly thing and... that's facing um um our society are you so, so why sign an artist that would promote that um, b because I, I, I already answered that question. You weren't paying attention. Um, she asked me talent or issues and I said talent, but I, I, I have to, I, I can't give up on people. I don't think that's hypocritical though. You're saying um, it's opportunistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got, I got people to feed. <laughs> um, I got a, oh, I got a, I got a business to run. So the scary part about the the state of mental health as it pertains to hip hop is that you have a lot of sick people that are in leadership positions. You really need to heal, but hip hop culture has helped elevate you because you have a gift that's being exploited by the powers that be, by the record labels, sometimes by even your own management. That they know you need help, but they know that they're getting a commission off of you. So they're just going to keep pushing you out there and use you up till you die or till you go to jail. The powers that be don't care anything about us. So why would we want to support any movie, any movement, any artist, or for that matter, anything that they got going on? You only strengthening the pockets and the hands of those individuals so they can further spread, further franchise the bull crap that they putting out, especially with how they portray us and make us look as th thugs, robbers, uh, gang bangers, thieves, you know, deadbeat fathers, prostitutes, pimps, weak men, aggressive women. Why would we want to continue to keep giving to that? And see, people mad at D1 for calling out these individuals, but this has nothing to do with those individuals, but it has everything to do with the black community either you for the black community or not we ain't got time for grown people grown men specifically to be making excuses for other grown men who know better who these dudes are uncles and dads by now and still spewing out garbage into the community but yet and still we gotta step on eggshells or we gotta uh talk to them in private if we got a problem with something no the whole point of this is not about those individuals. It's about the community. And we ready to move forward now. We ready to move forward now. We not waiting on some next opportunity. We ready to move forward now. And so if I have to make you feel uncomfortable, if I got to cause that line in the sand to be drawn for people to see, okay, maybe these individuals not really for the black community like they claim to be. Although they, they talk about turkeys or although they talk about uh, giving clothes or shoes they still spewing out garbage maybe we don't need to be putting our money into this stuff and so and so for the ones that choose to be on that other side you know what i'm saying because there is a line that's being drawn dividing excuse me that's happening the ones that choose to stay there ain't no hate 
you just being marked as that individual that you're not going to support to that because what you're pushing and what you're promoting is not for the betterment of our people. Because one thing that we have to realize, people, is that all skin folk ain't your kin folk. That's one thing that we need to get in our head. Just because everybody got your skin color doesn't mean that they hold the same values as you do. And that's important because you don't want to be out here just supporting something that you don't know anything about. Perfect example, BLM, by and large matches. I mean, Black Lives Matter. They stepped on the scene before they scrubbed their about section. They were literally for dismantling the nuclear family. And instead of being for the black community, they were for the LGBTQ community more than anything. And for abortion. Can somebody explain to me how liberalism benefits families? Well, abortion doesn't benefit families. Feminism doesn't benefit families. Trans rights doesn't benefit families. Transitioning children doesn't benefit families. Welfare doesn't benefit families. Taking God out of everything doesn't benefit families. We also know these social justice warriors don't care about families. Take BLM, for instance. The only way to build healthy communities is to have strong families. If y'all don't see the destruction, you never will. How does that help our people? So the same question we got to ask, are rappers, is hip hop for the black community? Because we see the stuff that they pushing, promiscuity, materialism with the rocking designer, designer clothes and things like that getting money gang culture that's self-explanatory within itself and then when you go look at the statistics of black america and you see we're leading in almost all the negatives whether that be fatherlessness whether that be abortion whether that be poverty whether that be homicide whether that be babies out of wedlock whether that be incarceration whether that be hiv whether that be single motherhood all the things that they rap about and they talk about literally lead to those negative statistics. Now, I'm not saying that rap is the cause for that. All that stuff was here before rap. But what I am saying is that because they are the ones that glorify it, they are the ones who put that lifestyle up on a pedestal. They do nothing but perpetuate that cycle. And for that, rappers need to be held accountable because that's what we don't have. We have a lack of accountability, and that's where we suffer at in the black community. That's not normalized for our people. The, literally, if you look up the term mainstream, one of, the, one of the synonyms for that is normalized. That's not what's normalized for our people. It's amazing to me how these rappers can get up here and do and say almost anything and not face any scrutiny or not be ostracized, but let a businessman or a politician doesn't matter who would be say any of those things remotely close to what they're saying they are going to be heavily scrutinized and ostracized canceled for it but because we're black we're seen as hopeless helpless victims of oppression we get a pass and it's that lack of accountability that's destroying our community today and if a white person says something about it then they're labeled as a racist and if a black person says something about it then they're labeled as a coon it's time for us to get past no accountability phase stop looking on the outside and blaming things on white supremacy get in the mirror and look at ourselves and say what can we do as a community to better ourselves because as we can see the politicians aren't doing it nobody else is going to do it it only can be us. So we have to look at the loudest voice in our community. What's the loudest voice in our community? It's our brand. It's our product. What is our brand and product? It's hip hop. We have to look at the loudest voices in our community and say that we want to change. We want new representation. Y'all are the ones that's going before the world and, and representing us. But is it the kind of way that we truly want to be represented? Or is it the way that entertainment tells y'all to represent us? And, I, and one thing I want people to know is just they got so mad about these individuals being called out. But it's not those individuals who own rap. Hip hop, again, is the brand, is the product of the African-American culture. So we have the right to demand something different. India Ari said it best when Meg Thee Stallion and Janelle Monae turned the Essence Festival into a twerk fest. The issue is what is context? 
Humanity does everything, but does everything belong in a stage? No. Is everything for kids? No. Is everything for everybody? No. So when we as a culture make something like this mainstream, hear that mainstream normalized, it shows a lack of discretion and discernment. To those in the comments who laugh at anyone who wants these things for our culture, listen up. You certainly have that right. But just as many folks have the right to want our mainstream international export out music, what goes out, what represents us to show us in a respectful light. Case closed. Forget what you got to say. And there's somebody who been there and done it. And she said that, bro. She said, I like to go on the record saying this won't age well. And that's my issue. I love Janelle and Meg the way I love us all. And I don't like this moment. Don't bother debating me. Laugh out loud. I don't care. And I do this. For 25 years, I've done this. So read, ponder, or don't. Spoken by the black queen herself, bro. How can you question somebody who's been there and who's done that? Bro, we have every right to demand a change. We have every right to want these people to represent us in a positive light. For anybody that feel any other way, towards what D1 or what a lot of these uh, black leaders that's, that's emerging that's calling this stuff out that's holding people accountable. Anybody that feels some kind of way and you want to be all up in your feelings about it, bro, you're just going to be left behind with the people because we moving forward. We marching forward. We got to go. Forget how y'all feeling. I'm sorry. A lot of y'all grown men who just in your feelings who just want to act gangster and want to be that. But the truth of the fact of the matter is it's just saying about y'all. This is about these kids, bro. This is about the next generation. Sometimes you got to shake the hornets in this, bro, in order for some people to respond. But we see how Rick Ross responded. We see how Jim Jones responded, really just showing that they don't too much care about the stuff that they put out. They rather sell their turkeys. They rather give their clothes and things like that. But when it really actually come to representing us in the positive light, which is all we're asking them to do, they don't want to do that. They rather put this, we had to struggle to get it. It's hard for black people in America. You either got to sell dope or do this in order to be, hey, forget all that, bro. We trying to emerge in whatever area God has called you to. Maybe God called you to be a lawyer. Maybe God called you to be a doctor. Maybe God called you to be a gynecologist. Maybe God called you to be a dentist. Maybe God called you to be a president. Maybe God called you to be whatever God has called you to be. But we need some right, we need the right representation in place to let these young kids know like, hey, it's okay to take advantage of these opportunities that's been provided for you. Don't let this victimization, oppressed mindset blanket your eyes so that you can't see the opportunities that's laid before you. And you just settle for, it. as Homeboy said on, um, on ATL, I want, I want the Picasso. I don't want the piss in the hallway. But a lot of these rappers, what they're doing, they got to settle in for the piss in the hallway. But I digress. Man, let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Um, go tap into these new shirts we got on Imago Day. I think it's Imago Day shop. I'm going to put the link down there in the description. My wife, handles all, my wife handles all that while I do this. But kingdom over culture, bro. We taking over in this time. God has given us that opportunity, bro. So we're going to run with it. I'm talking about full speed, pedal to the metal. We ain't stopping. So go get that link and go get your shirts today man i like it it feel good it look good and i think it look good on youtube man um but let me know what y'all think down in the comments man like share comment subscribe peace love i'm out sweat it to the truth nothing but the truth put my hands on the bobby y'all point me to the booth sweat it to the